and welcome gorgeous Aquarius to your weekly reading. I hope everyone's doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you. You might see a sign, a symbol, a message on one or several of the cards if you do take notice because that Spirit's speaking directly to your situation. And your first card is about change and transition. So this is quite a heavy energy. And it says here, thank you, Azriel, for leading me safely through this change. So the first message is that this change that you're going through, you will definitely know if this resonates for you or not. If you're going through a change, a transformation, this can mean that there is an ending that's taking place and a new beginning is on the horizon for you. Uh, you're moving safely through it. OK, you're going to be OK. You're going to be all right. So change and transition. That's a big energy to start your reading. Balance. OK, so this change, this transition. Well, you may have perhaps realized that it's going to bring more balance into your life or you're needing to balance out the energies because of this change. Thank you, angels, for bringing my life into balance. So if you can keep this intention throughout the week, it's really going to serve you well. Also, the scales here, this is a Libra. So you may have a Libra in your life, perhaps of significance. And of course, uh, with the scales, Libra, this is justice. So anything related to contracts, agreements, the law, um, legal uh, proceedings, anything like this may also be in the works for you um fairness and also um karma returning as well um a karmic situation balancing of the scales is also there for uh for you so that might resonate for you as well let's see what this deck reveals so i feel this is your first card from this deck and it's the dragonfly i am ready to transform my life into one filled with truth and clarity mm. So I really see you're moving in this direction. You're moving toward truth. You're moving toward clarity, which is beautiful. It's exactly what you need. It's easy for me to transform and transmute challenging situations. Interesting. That's beautiful um, because you have the transition card here. Change, transition. You're, it's easy for you to transform and transmute challenging situations. I love that. Yep. I pay attention to my dreams and easily interpret them. My understanding of symbols helps me with self-awareness. My emotions are balanced. So we have balanced here. Maybe this is speaking to you about emotional balance. And we have the mouse. I am very perceptive and discerning in all areas of my life. So you're really going to see beyond the ordinary you're going to see beyond any fakeness, any masks that people have up. Uh, you're going to be very discerning as well if any decisions need to be made. I am consciously aware of everything that is going on around me. Yeah, so heightened awareness of the details perhaps or of something uh, in depth I'm seeing. I comprehend the details of everything that is set before me. I am organized. I create a cozy nest in which to live and learn so a cozy nest maybe this is speaking of your home in some way maybe you're making it just a little bit more cozy for yourself or harmonious guidance for aquarius please spirits angels and guides please bring through a message for aquarius The cockatiel is about listening or the keyword here is listen. So perhaps it's important for you this week to listen to someone just a little bit more in depth or listening to what they are saying but beyond what they're saying, if you know what I mean. So um, so there's that, but there may also be an, a circumstance in your life where you feel someone isn't listening to you or maybe communication could be better. And that may be a focus for you. 
and the gala expression. Yes, expression. I mean, it's self-expression as well is important. I'm seeing you, you're able to express yourself, communicate yourself in an authentic way, um, in a powerful way. An expression may be uh, leading you to creativity a little bit. Maybe there's creative expression. Uh, let's see how this um, see how this card resonates for you this week. How it plays out for you. Some kind of self-expression or expression communication is important, and it's right next to listen, so that makes a lot of sense actually. Okay, let's see. So we have the weasel and the pine. Uh, so this is about introspection. This is about going within, reviewing a situation on an internal level, or maybe processing or accepting something. And you have another dragonfly symbol, the dragonfly and pansy, and it's about balance. So this, this card is bringing up the same message of two of these cards so we have the dragonfly so this message is important maybe dragonflies are an important symbol for you personally maybe they hold a spiritual significance or message for you and balance which is the second card that came out very interesting all right let's see what this deck reveals guidance for aquarius please spirit The Ace of Stones, this usually means there's a new opportunity that's on the way for you. Um, something that has been hidden behind a difficulty is going to come out into the light and you get to see what this opportunity or this offer, this gift is. And um, it looks like a brand new day. It looks like it's a new situation that you're happy for. So this is something you can work towards building, increasing. Um, it often speaks of material things. Um, so yes, your work, material possessions and things you have that's manifest in your life, building up a solid foundation here for yourself is what I'm seeing or a focus on those things. Um, with this um, with this sun coming out um, um, and it was covered by the stone, I am seeing that your Mm. Your intentions, your prayers, maybe meditations, they are being answered here because there was a block and the block is being uh, removed. So you have this beautiful sun, this brightness. So your prayers are going to be answered in a, a perhaps a miraculous way, a, a beautiful, a beautiful way um, that you're not expecting perhaps. So this could be a surprise that this block, whatever this represents for you in your life, um, how it gets removed or what this, um, this blessing is here, this sun. So we have another ace and this is the ace of mirrors. So this is an inspiration. It's often about, um, um, a positive way forward in some way you're thinking about it. You're inspired by spirit and you get, um, you get momentum happening, but it starts off with a clear mind, clear intention and um, inspiration. The Weaver, it's about, uh, well, we have the creation aspect here of cre uh, creation, uh, creating what you want in your life. Mm. There is a there is a change. I mean, I know we have this card here, but I do feel a change is happening and you're having to negotiate or weave your way around difficulties. So Spirit would say here, um, it's important to um, kind of go with the flow here and not get too caught up in some emotions that maybe that may, you may be feeling. The green man, the emperor, this is the father archetype. So you may have communication or important uh, contact with your father or someone who represents this energy in your life, whether they are living or whether they've passed over. Um, the emperor is about um, the structure of something, um, building a, uh, being concerned with structure and organization, um, building something solid for yourself, being organized and planning. And, you know, there's not a lot of um, emotions here. So, you know, kind of being more 
objective and less emotional about a situation is what I'm seeing here. And the watcher. So yes, really taking a step back, being more objective. Um, we have the owl up here. So that might be symbolic for you. A message from spirit there. Of course, it's about uh, wisdom. And you know that there's something happening where you're going to need to take a step back and just watch how things unfold rather than being enmeshed in a drama. And the seven of mirrors. Um, so it looks like there's something that went awry, something that you were planning on, something that you thought was a sure thing with the emperor. But in fact, we have the cracked mirror symbol here. So it, it was um, damaged or something was damaged and something didn't move ahead. So it's about regrouping, taking a step back and um, listening to your intuition. Let's see what the pendulum would like to say to you. If you do have a question, if you'd like to ask spirit through the pendulum, you're welcome to think of that question now. And the answer is yes. So check in with your intuition. See how this answer resonates with your question. It's been a pleasure to read for you today. I hope spirits come through clearly for you. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.